Yeah. So sweet. I, I, before we, we take off, I do want to talk about something. Mar Mari, the bishop, mm-hmm. uh, was attacked by a man with a knife. Who is he, just to, for some context? I, I actually did an interview right. with, oh, with Patrick B. David, on, right? Uh, yeah, on the Patrick B. David episode. And I wanted to bring this up. I reached out immediately to their team. Thank God. He's good. This man was attacked by another individual with a knife. And the blade wouldn't come out fully. Thank God. He would not be here if that blade would have came out fully. But the man that was attacked, the bishop, turned over and immediately put his hand over the child's head and started praying on the man that just tried to kill him. Doesn't stomp on him, doesn't punch him, doesn't say, grab the knife, give me the knife. Immediately turns and puts his hand on him and starts praying. I want that type of peace, bro. That's that's just that level. is the manliest man I've ever it's met like in my life. Mm-hmm. That's like- no, 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 no. I got to be on that level. And I pray that one day I could be at that level where I could see anybody. Because do- think about it, bro. We go, oh, look what he did to me at work. Or, or we blah, blah, blah. Or, or we're in Somebody traffic. cuts you off. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then you're like, I'm going to beat the brakes off of this guy, blah, blah, blah. It's like we let such absolute nothingness get in the way of our peace and salvation. Mm-hmm. We're ready to risk it immediately from a disagreement. This man's life was in jeopardy. And it never even was a first, second, third, or fifth thought. His first thought was, this man obviously has something wrong with him where he feels like he needs to do this. I pray for him and his family. That is a true man. I just wanted to take a second to say, thank God he's safe. I can't wait to see what he's going to do now. 